This is the second video from the Altium Concord Pro review. In this video, I'll show you how to open a project from the server, perform simple project changes, see components in the project, and lastly, register the project changes to the server. In order to open the project, select the File menu and go to Open Project Command. You may notice that the dialog window looks slightly different compared to the previous versions of Altium Designer. As you can see, there are now several options available showing project locations. The project may be open from the local computer or from a server. There are several sample projects that we have got on the server. These files represent a drone project provided as part of a sample data that we've included during the installation. I select Project Kame FMU. I can open this project in my default folder or in the new directory. By just clicking open, the project will open in the default folder. Once the project gets opened from Altium Concord Pro, I'll have a copy of the project created on my local computer, which means I can continue working with the project offline with no direct connection to the Altium Concord Pro server. Of course, once I make any edits, I can always get those pushed back to the server. Okay, so here on the schematic file I have a component. Once the component gets selected, I can see its properties. Since this component comes from Altium Concord Pro, I can see its lifecycle status. In this particular case, this component is in a draft lifecycle. And I can also see its current state. For this component, I have the latest version of the component available on the server. I can easily replace this component with any other component. In the Properties panel, I click on this icon next to the Design Item ID. I get the Replace Component dialog open. Here on top, I see my currently used component. Just for an example, I select another component, clicking OK, and the original component is replaced. Rather than replacing the component, I can also bring it up to date as mentioned earlier. Here's another example. In the properties of this connector, I see that the component is not up to date anymore and there is a newer version of it available on the server. By clicking update, I get my component updated with the latest revision available on the server. I did very simple edits to the component. I've slightly changed the component symbol and as you can see those changes are applied. As you can see, now the component state has changed to up to date. I'm not going to apply the latest revision to this connector and we'll keep it out of date. Okay, so now I have my schematic file and see that I got a new modified status in the project panel. The modified status is indicated by the red circle. Now I need to push the changes from my local project copy to the server. I right mouse click and select Commit Whole Project in the Version Control submenu. This way I will save the latest version of my project to Altium Concord Pro. I'll put a comment that two components got modified and proceed with the Commit and Push button. As you can see, once the operation is complete, all of the files in the project panel get a green checkmark icon, which means that my local project is completely synced with the same project on the server.